Now, we all love our pets, doesn't matter what they look like, but with around 70% of us thinking they are the perfect size, according to a new survey, uh, the truth is that one in two dogs and cats are now classified as overweight. <laughs> Uh, so could a weight loss jab be the answer? Uh, money is being poured into research to develop a drug to help our obese furry friends. But you know, you've lots of animals, you love your animals mm. clean. Would this be an answer for you if one of your dogs became a little bit obese and you wanted to try 100 and... hundred percent not, no. unless it was a medical condition. Because dogs can eventually get diabetes, but that's normally because they end up overweight and they get conditions, and if it was going to help that condition and it was the only way to control it, then I would. But just to go, oh, my dog's a bit overweight, I'm going to give it this injection, absolutely not. 100%, I would just cut its food down, stop the treats. Mm. You know, uh, that's the answer to it, stop overfeeding them. And I know it's difficult because they're looking at you, you know. I'm sitting at home and I've got four faces looking at me like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I go, I'll put the biscuit away. They're probably thinking, oi, fatty, give me a biscuit. <laughs> but... I don't share my biscuits, guys. Um, so, yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't, cos I think it's down to the... <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're meant to say, don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I, um, I, I definitely wouldn't. And I did have a friend of ours, um, when me and Shane were together, we had this beautiful golden retriever, and she was fabulous. And this friend of ours, an old um, lady who I adored, Every single day she was in love with the dog and every day she came round she brought it a fresh cream donut. <laughs> so I was watching this dog go like this. Anyway, it she and I kept saying, please, please, please stop. And she was going, but she loves them. And I was going, I doesn't everyone? But she's getting too big. Mm. And and you'll you'll lessen her life if you carry mm. on. And she was like, Well, at least she'll you know, better for her to die at six with a good life than die at twelve. And oh. I'm like <laughs> No, that's not. Yes. That's a really wrong. Anyway, the dog <clears> ended <throat> up with um, diabetes. It had to be injected every twelve hours. Went completely blind. Oh my god! Because of it all, and um, yeah, it was it was really really difficult. And I know she didn't mean it in a bad way. She's a super mm. lovely dog, but yeah. that's mm. the thing. You can kill them with love. With love. That's kindness. Problem, yeah. isn't I mean, it? With mm. kindness. Yeah. Go I, on. I agree totally with what Colleen said. If there's health conditions, that's something else. But it is down to the person because a dog can, and a cat cannot go to the cupboard and feed themselves and and give themselves the quantities. And if you you're thinking that the dog likes it because the first time you gave it, they found it quite tasty. Mm. So that's just like a repetition. If you do things enough, then you'll get used to it and mm. it becomes that habit. But I think I totally disagree with um, the same with that unless I mean, it's health yeah. condition. I mean, I have huge empathy for humans, you know, who have obesity issues because there's, you know, there's not enough help with people um, l losing weight. It's not a case of just eat less, move more. There's huge emotional issues go into that, that con condition. Um, but I think, like, with pets, they can't go to the fridge themselves. I mean, as, as someone who has had pets, I totally understand that desire to, to spoil them. I mean, we used to know this couple whose dog could hardly get off the bloom and floor, and they used to go, it's glandular. I said, you've just given them a pie. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, they just, they're just always so glandular. I will it's, I mean, and you I get will, pie I and chips. Well, you have to treats. give them I give, I give the cats treats, but I used to give Tiny and Temper, they used to have their, their food distributed, and Temper would go to eat mm. Tiny's. So what I had to do was get them get them microchipped and get their food bowls with the microchip sensors so they couldn't eat each other's food. <gasps> yeah, but that big one you've food. got, it's not a cat. Yeah, you have a lion. Yeah. I don't have a lion. She has a lion smoking, in her house. Smoking. Yeah, but That's even smoking brilliant. is microchipped, so she goes to her own bowl. I need only... that for me. <laughs> <laughs> It's, just, it's tough, though, isn't it? Because, as you say, you want to just spoil them all the time. It's like with your children. It's the same thing as you have to just be tough sometimes. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, yeah. Yes. Not always easy.